pieces weren't in the car or the engine anywhere, but we had a busted. See where this is. Okay, so starters here. We took this bolt out, it goes in this way. Then there's a bolt down here. I just used a long extension to get to it. And that'll let us get the starter off, which will allow us to get to this bolt going into the transmission bell housing. To drop that. Take them. Where am I? Oh, we gotta get this bolt off. Actually, we can just leave the starter sit there. And then we can get to that. You okay? You have to try to see. There's a glare. Okay. Leaving these on so we can tell where to put the new ones. Does that make sense? Yep. Get that 
transmission with the transfer case attached. And I just left it to the cross member. Converter off. See our flex plate. What I find is interesting. Somebody's definitely been working on this. So look at this. I'm pretty sure a factory assembly plant would not goop up your silicone. This is all silicone. It doesn't wipe off. So I'm kind of concerned that. Maybe they cracked something or have damaged flange surface. I mean, that, that makes no sense to you put silicone like that. Somebody's had a part, somebody's worked on it. Obviously they didn't fix it right the first time, but we're gonna uh, tear apart and see what else is wrong. Uh, first I'm gonna pull this off and then it'll allow us to get to the two or three covers that we see here. I did get new cam shaft position sensors, uh, the crankshaft position sensor, and I think I got new actuators, but I'm not sure these two are your actuators, I believe. We'll get it all tore apart and take a look. Stay tuned. Here's my starter. So to take the transmission bell housing off, there's several bolts. You have this one, this one, this one, this one. Two down here that come in from the front, from the engine side and go into the transmission. You know, here, here, and here. So one going into the starter and one coming out of the starter. So definitely have to unbolt your starter. Even the, so a couple things. Right here, this hole and this hole where these screw there's two bolts like this see it's just silicone they're either too short or the, and the wrong ones or they stripped off the housing that it goes into the room thing it's the wrong ones they're just held in with silicone i'm not sure what the purpose was just an idiot and then if you look this rear main seal is not even installed straight it's recessed right here you can see but then it's actually sticks out right here. So, um, I don't think the kit came with a new rear seal. I'm gonna check it tonight. And probably have to order a new one. See, this is another piece of oil pressure. 
that replaces this. Oh, okay. So it sits in like that. But anyway, I should be able to connect that buddy. Yeah, that would be the intake. This one here. That's what I'm gonna look for. Good thing is you don't see sludge. Okay, so here's our timing components. We got the two chains. Can't really tell any visible damage. Uh, but here's some of the guides and tensioners. So you can see this is the pieces weren't in the car or the engine anywhere, but we had a busted. See where plus it's broken there. This one, no signs of damage, but. And then this one is one of the guides. So that was the one that was broken. This is one of the tensioners. And then this is your oil pump drive gear and this is the gear that sits on top of it. Initial look, it looked fine, but then you get a little closer and you can see some of that wear marks. You flip it over, it's even worse. So the chain is actually wore a groove down into the sprocket. Hopefully that comes out in the camera. So then I took a look at the pump, oil pump gear. It's not as bad, but it seems like on the back side is where you see most of it. Try to get a close up. But yeah, so we have the guides, the chains, the tensioners. We didn't order these sprockets or gears. So I'm gonna order those gears so we can put this thing back together.